Yo, BJ Gador with the Daily BJ, and this is the lightweight lean out using a barbell landmine setup. You put a barbell into a landmine post or corner of a wall, use the other side to do work. I highly recommend, you don't need it, but it will make the movements more versatile, uh, more grip friendly, just better options, more separation from the barbell and plates uh, by putting a pure motion war hammer right on the end, screw it in, and you can also still put weight plates on. I'm recommending starting with the barbell on this. Lightweight will go a long way with this workout, especially on the earlier movements, which have a little more isolation uh, nature to them, but we're still working the whole body, burning fat, building muscle, boosting metabolism. Get 10% off of this in all Pure Motion products uh, at puremotion.net or gardenofgains.com with my coupon code THEDAILYBJ. Movement one, we're gonna go with a concentration curl, all right, starting here. So kind of built-in warm-up here, we're actually gonna be mobilizing hip flexors and groin a bit. And all I'm gonna do is get it positioned just like this. So the form is resting right alongside that inner calf shin area. And then from there, pull up, bring down, just like that. Get the full workout description, the description of the video. I'm just gonna show you the movements. Nice full range of motion, really emphasizing the bicep, squeezing hard at the top. You'll do both sides. From there, we're gonna go into a hip hinge to reverse fly. Great whole body backside movement, particular emphasis on the upper back, rear shoulder. So I'm gonna hinge, flat back, tabletop position, headline with spine. From there, arm goes out to the side, hold for a count, bring it back, return. So I'm working asymmetrically. Uh, anytime I'm one side loaded, I get core and hip shoulder activation through the roof, squeeze through right there, bring it back. I like to do it with relatively straight arm, maybe a slight elbow bend, but not much, and again, uh, for most people, the barbell will be plenty of weight. In fact, you might need to go to maybe an easy curl option or a lighter barbell if needed. So just find a way to make it work. Movement, next movement, so you do both sides. Now we're gonna go contralateral hip hinge to one arm lateral raise. So uh, again, works the entire backside of the body, particular emphasis to at the top. It's really gonna strengthen and fortify the rotator cuff, get the lateral head of that shoulder, make you look wider. I'm gonna hip hinge, flat back, reach that back leg, come through balance right across the body like you're drawing a sword zelda style reach pull back come right up all right it work both sides again there's so much core work going on here it's crazy from there kind of just made this one up but i love it push back split thruster so start like this i'm going to uh, get the push back emphasis pushing back really working the quads really nice and easy on the knees too and as i come up i'm gonna push back also into a full press keeping the ribs and shoulders down abs crunched it's actually a really uh, shoulder friendly movement the angle is just unique and obviously one side loaded lots of obliques lots of hips quads will be quaking push through get all the way up there all while rooting you're gonna feel some huge back hip flexor stretch here again root those abs down both sides final two movements number one is uh, the not number one but the f penultimate I think they call it Right? Second to last. Second to last, yeah. yeah. So uppercuts, you're gonna hold it like this. I'm gonna pivot the feet, rotate the hips, and reach into the sky like this. Slight elbow bends are fine. Now, the key is, gotta keep tension into the barbell, all right? Otherwise, you can, if you're, if you're loose on it, this can kinda come out, so you gotta keep tension in as we rotate through. Great for mobilizing thoracic spine, upper back, hips, great core, mobility, and it becomes heavily metabolic for high reps or if you increase the speed of movement final exercise we're gonna go lateral squat passes so super wide base toes relatively ahead hips and shoulders square i'm gonna sit into one hip elbow kind of touches the inside of the knee and then i'm gonna pass over to the other side so just like this if you want Get a little more separation as you push through to increase the deceleration demands. All right. That's a nice little squat stand too. So awesome workout. For more home workouts you can take to the gym, join the dailybj.com. Check out all my equipment at the garden uh, at gardenofgains.com and get 10% off that Warhammer barbell landmine attachment with my coupon code, the Daily BJ. Peace.